Hi guys, I'm Amber Gill and I'm one of the judges for the Love to Write competition. Now I'm so happy to be a part of it as I think it's really important to have diversity, especially in the romance genre. I'm Nick, I'm one of the judges for Love to Write and it's been amazing being part of the judging panel and seeing so many brilliant entries. Hey everyone, it's Nadine. It was my pleasure to serve as a judge in the Love to Write competition. We want to make sure that all our readers are represented when they come to the rack and they can find themselves reflected in our covers. These contests are so important to draw in writers who might otherwise get discouraged with the publishing process. So important for our readers around the world to see themselves reflected in the stories we publish um, and this is just um, one of the ways that we can make that happen. We were thrilled with the amount of entries that came in and I've been absolutely um, stunned by the quality of the entries. The three finalists were so strong and it was an absolute delight to read all three. The entries were absolutely amazing. I read some that I absolutely loved and it was really, really hard to pick a winner, but we have chosen a winner. A holiday story set in a toy store in London managed by the smart, savvy, and determined heroine. She needs her match in the sensitive but buttoned up hero. It leapt off the page to me. The characters really came to life. We really step into that toy shop. Faye's voice came through so strongly in the, in the chapters that we saw. It was just irresistible and we wanted to keep, keep on reading right to the end of the story. Faye's book, um, the winning entry was wonderful. It had everything that Mills and Boone was about, an encapsulated romance. It was incredibly heartwarming. It's all festive, it's fun. You can imagine yourself in the story, you can imagine the emporium in the toy shop and I just really wanted to read more and that was the reason that I chose that entry as the winner.